Hello Capricorn, thank you for tuning in to your general read. For the main part, I'm using the Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan, illustrated by Mark Evans. Excuse me, that's disgusting. Um, and the Angel Answers Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine as the supportive Oracle Cards. I don't know if you heard that. I hope not. Um, <laughs> now, I've already shuffled, so... Let's see what we got. I want to pull out like this bottom card for some reason. Okay, there we go. You know, I really do think this is a good reading, but there's a bump. I don't think it's that bad. Um, so, an opportunity, like this is at the bottom of the deck. When cards come at the bottom of a deck, it seems like there's a lot behind them to me. And they're well, literally, and just, you know. Uh, so you're coming into this situation with a lot of optimism, because the opportunity seems very strong and very good. You're very happy about it. It's in the middle here. It's um, conducive for you and whatever the other side is. first card I'm actually drawn to is the Ace of Cups, is your overall energy. So I feel like you're extremely happy with the whole situation. And I do notice that the other side has the Queen of Cups. Somebody else, or whatever the situation is, it seems very conducive to the way you feel. That being said, you'd think it would be a smooth ride through, but I'm not seeing that all the way. I do feel it going your way at the end here, but there's a, a little bit of a shaky thing because you come in with the opportunity, which seems to be the Six of Wands reinforcing that. So there's a really strong, big opportunity that starts off this situation. But even though there's a great opportunity, there's some type of obstacle that you have to either accept or overcome. I feel like it's more of an accepting thing. Ten of uh, Wands makes me feel like this is something you're going to carry through the whole situation. But it's just, a, it's, I feel like it's just a matter of you being on board with it. That's all it takes. Once you're on board with it, everything is fine. Um, I just feel like you've got to kind of work it out. But between you and the other side, you're looking at this situation. Whatever has to be taken care of, whatever you have to accept as the burden that's going to last through this situation, you're feeling like it's going to get easier with time. You're not thinking it's going to be a big deal in the long run, it may be hard to surmount in the beginning, but once you've got a hold of it, you'll be fine and you'll deal with it as it comes. The other side, though, has this kind of a pessimistic view. It says unlike, unlikely, like doesn't think this can be sustained. Um, I feel like this, the way that the other side is looking at it, like just initially overcoming it might be, a, might be doable, but the long term, surviving the long term might not be. So they're not really, whoever or whatever you're working with, the other side doesn't seem as optimistic as you do. Because you're looking at it like, yes, it's a challenge, but the first time will be the hardest. After that, it'll be easier. So this is how you're going into it. Still, the Ace of Cups is working to your favor. And the Queen of Cups on the other side, like the other side is also very optim, very much wants it. I don't know if I, I shouldn't say optimistic, they want it. The other side wants it too very much likes the idea of it, but they're not really sure it's going to work out long term. That's kind of what I'm getting from this unlikely. Eight of Wands is in the center. This seems to kick off a lot faster than expected. Um, I feel like once you, I feel like this might be the bump you're expecting. Like it's going to be a quick start, a lot goes on all at once. But you're, you're seeing this and you're just like, you know what, I'll just get through it. And once I get through it, I'll get used to it. It'll be fine. It's just that initial start, it'll be a little har harrowing. Harrowing? A little hairy start. I don't know what you want to call it. It's going to be a little bit much. But once you get a hold of it, you'll be fine. Uh, the other side is still supporting you on this. Same card, Queen of Cups. That's kind of where this all seemed to line up together. The um, Ace of Cups for your side, the Eight of Wands... And then right below that, the Queen of Cups, all in a line right down here. So it kicks off quick. Now, 
you're not. I don't feel like this is a surprise for you, but you you actually end up having to out, ask for help. You need some support in this situation. You. I don't feel like this is a surprise, but I feel like the reason this card is actually popping up here is like the sooner you ask for help, the better. Um, because I feel like you might try to do as much as you can on your own and then ask for help when necessary. But I feel like if you ask for help right off the bat, like it'll kind of meld in easier. Like when you need the help, it'll be available instead of like you get to a part where you can't go any farther and you need help. And then you have to wait for the help to be available. If you just ask for it straight off, you'll be able to start and do things and then that person or people or however that help is coming in, it will either reinforce what you're currently doing or help you change direction before you hit a roadblock, if that makes sense. So the sooner you ask for help, the better. I hope that makes sense. This other side is saying get more information. This is the environment. So I feel like the other side is trying to figure out what needs to be done to make this an easier situation. Um, you seem to have like a research effect on the other side. Because I feel like... I feel like they're not... They're not comfortable with the situation just yet. But you're going forward with it. So they're supporting you, and I feel like they're active in it. But they also seem to be questioning things a lot more than they were originally. And as it's going forward... I feel like this card is also reiterating, like, the sooner that you ask for help, or, like, sooner you have that, this side looking for that help, the easier this will be for you and whoever else is involved. I feel like this is saying that they're already on that page. Whoever you're working with seems to be already on that page, but it seems to be hinging on you when you say it's time to get that help and when it's not. I feel like this is, like, um, reinforcing your... Um, ask for help for others, especially since this is your read. I feel like it's saying, like, if you make the decision right off the bat, like, to ask for the help right off as you're getting started, it'll come in very, it'll meld and marry right in perfectly to where it's easy for you to keep going at the same rate and you don't have to, like, stop or wait. Um, and that way also, as you're doing things, if somebody, whoever's helping you is seeing you do these things and they're like, well... I see why you're doing that, but this is why you should kind of go this way or change this or, you know, fix this a little bit. It'll make it so you don't end up with a lot of wasted effort. You'll be able to correct it and move it in a better direction right off the bat. And it'll just make it easier for you and people you're working with as well. So there's less backtracking. Okay. Now, as we go forward, I'm noticing you have the Knight of Cups with the Nine of Wands going forward. So... I am getting the Nine of Wands. They're saying you might have a hard time asking for help. Because um, I feel like, especially, um, or you might have a hard time accepting the help you get. Because I feel like you're very good and very diligent and you take a lot of pride in your work is what I'm getting here. Um, so I feel like you're, you're going to hope that most of it isn't a waste. But I'm also seeing the Knight of Cups coming to your rescue here in a sense. Like, somebody has best of intentions for you. But I feel like you're, the way you're going, like, the sooner, again, it comes through again. The sooner you ask for help, you'll end up on a more stable path that you can stick with and dedicate yourself to. I feel like you might get off to a false start in some areas or in some directions. And you might have to adjust those or backtrack and restart a different route that's more conducive with the situation and you it'll be uncomfortable. So the sooner you can ask for that help, the sooner you can start off on the right foot, the easier it'll be for you going forward. Because I do feel like when you start doing something, you're dedicated to it and you, you put a lot of effort into it. You don't want that effort to be lost or wasted. So you might have a little bit of a defensive attitude only because you put in this effort to it, you don't want it to be for nothing. So you're going to try to salvage what you can, and that might make it a little harder for things to get back online, which, for the 50,000th time, if you ask it right in the beginning, you won't have as much loss. You might you're, I feel like you're still going to have a, a degree of loss. How much that is, though, is based on when this help comes in. But whoever does come in to help you, however that happens, best of intentions, I feel like that can actually trump 
the the nine of wands if you want it to in the sense of like if you see this coming in you already expect like things are gonna have to be changed and the person helping you or whoever's helping you has the best of intentions i feel like that'll be easier for you um because once this knight of cups hits right after that you have the king of wands you know what to do you're strong with it you're going to keep going you're going to continue through you're going to have success here the other side has the four of wands. They feel a lot more stable, a lot more secure. They believe in you and the situation. So everything seems to go well. And the Disney ending, karma, I feel like that's judgment in your favor. The whole system, the whole situation, it's almost like you were right. In fact, I do think you were, if you were looking at this in the beginning, like, hey, the first bump is going to be the hardest. Once we get into it, though, it'll get easier from then on out. I feel like you're right. I feel like once you get the Knight of Cups, once you get the help from the Knight of Cups and everything is lined up and you see how things are working and you understand things better, you're on that path and you're working a lot better. Now it's just getting used to the rhythm and judgment is in your favor. Things are going your way. I really like how this ended. I really like how this went for you. Like there's there's some struggles along the way, but I feel like it's worth it and I feel like you're going to be happy in the, in, the, in the end here. So I feel like everything's going very well. Um... I consider it a Disney ending because it seems like it's really good to me. I feel like if you're going to go through struggles, if they pan out to your favor, at least they were for something, which I feel like this is what's going to happen here. Okay. I think we're kind of done. So I'm going to wrap this up here. Of course, if you'd like a direct reading from me, go ahead and shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. James, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.